Hello everybody, this is Undoubter here, and guys, today I'm bringing you a video talking about Battlefield 1 and has it killed Call of Duty. And as you guys can tell by the title of the video, is, is Call of Duty dead? But basically, I wanted to make this video because two days ago I made a video basically saying Battlefield 1 versus Call of Duty, and I was basically in that video what I said is if Battlefield 1, the trailer, whenever they release it, it was the day before the reveal, and in that video I said if in the reveal it is a World War 1 or a World War 2 game, Call of Duty is going to get destroyed this year. And just, I'm going to make some points in this video. I'm going to make three big points in Battlefield's favor on why Battlefield will destroy Call of Duty this year and why Call of Duty most likely will end up being dead for this year, but not for forever, of course, because, I mean, it's Call of Duty. But, I mean, this year, it's not looking good at all. And that's what I mean by when Call of Duty's dead or rest in peace Call of Duty, what everybody is saying on YouTube. I'm talking about not forever. I'm talking about this year. And I'm going to make three big points on why Battlefield is going to be way better than Call of Duty this year and why it's going to destroy Call of Duty in sales and most of the FPS community is going to be going to Battlefield. So anyways guys, let's get into this video. And number one, the first and the biggest point is it's a World War One shooter. It is in the era that everybody has been asking for. All FPS fans, whether you play Battlefield, Call of Duty, Halo, everybody in the FPS community mostly has been asking for a old school World War Two, World War One shooter. And I mean, it's cool too because it's a World War One game, which we haven't seen a lot of. We saw a ton of World War Two games in the early 2000s, and we never really saw that many World War One games. So it's pretty awesome that they took an even crazier approach and you know did what the community wanted, but also did something completely different that we really haven't seen before, which is awesome. But honestly, I feel like a good solid 90% of the FPS community has been asking for a World War One, World War Two game. So. I mean, I'm super hyped for it, and even you can tell by the Call of Duty commentators. Almost all the Call of Duty commentators I watch have already made videos talking about Battlefield 1. Even T. Martin is literally depicting the trailer of Battlefield 1, so it's not looking good for Call of Duty. Even the hardcore commentators are already starting to support Battlefield 1 more than Infinite Warfare, so it's pretty funny, but we'll have to see how it plays out. But that's my first big point on why Battlefield is going to destroy Call of Duty this year. Um, my second big point is basically their trailer. The trailer they made Call of Duty's trailer look like complete crap. I mean, the graphics were way better. The way it was just filmed was way better. You know, I, I don't mean filmed like in person, but the way the camera angles were and stuff were way better. It made Call of Duty look like crap, basically. And I mean, the only thing Call of Duty had going for it was Call of Duty 4 Remastered, but after that Battlefield 1 trailer, I don't even think that's gonna help if they sell it with, with Infinite Warfare. And, you know, just from these two points alone, you can already see Call, Call of Duty is not in a good position at all, and it's not looking very good at all, and Battlefield is looking great this year. It looks like an amazing game already from the trailer. And my third biggest point point is the release date of Battlefield. Battlefield comes out at the end of October. I believe it's October 21st. That's off the top of my head, so don't quote me if I'm a few days off. But either way, it comes out about two or three weeks earlier than Call of Duty does, which gives Battlefield a huge advantage in sales because basically, if Battlefield's trailer looks better, the game is in the time that everybody is asking for it, and it comes out earlier than Call of Duty, most people are going to go buy Battlefield. And a lot of people each year don't have enough money to buy a ton of games each year. They only buy a few. And, you know, they only buy a few at different parts of the year for the, a lot of people. So, uh, you know, a lot of people, the only game they get in a year is Call of Duty. But it might change this year because Battlefield comes out first. It's in a better time. And it looks way better than Call of Duty. So, I mean, it's not looking good for Call of Duty at all. A lot of the people that buy Call of Duty, and that's the only game they get each year, are most likely going to go out and buy Battlefield over Call of Duty, and that'll be the only game they get that year. And, you know, it just makes sense because it comes out earlier, it looks better, and, it, and it's in the time that everybody has been asking for. So, from those three points right there, you can already see Call of Duty is not in a great position at all. But uh, basically, I will say the only way Call of Duty can kind of reclaim re, uh, this year and kind of not make it a complete loss is if they release Call of Duty 4 Remastered separate from Infinite Warfare. If they do that, they will be doing what the community has been asking for. Because even a lot of big YouTubers said it, like that don't play Call of Duty anymore, but used to. They said, I would play Call of Duty, but I don't want to pay 80 bucks for a crappy Infinite Warfare game just to get a piece of Call of Duty 4. And I mean, Call of Duty 4 isn't even a complete game. The remastered game isn't even a full game. It's only 10 multiplayer maps. And I mean, it does have the campaign, but still, it's only a 10 of the multiplayer maps. And I think they had like 20 or more. So I mean, it's half the multiplayer maps we would get in a full game. 
So already right there, even if they do sell it separate, that puts Call of Duty at a huge, huge disadvantage over Battlefield. So I mean, it's just not looking good this year. But if they do sell Call of Duty 4 Remastered separate, I believe it will help their sales this year and help keep some of the community with Call of Duty. But for the most part, I think most of the Call of Duty community will be going to Battlefield 1. And you never know though, like I said in my other video that I made two, ga two days ago, Battlefield 1 versus Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. You never know though till we see the multiplayer trailers, but you know, it's not looking good at all for Infinite Warfare. Even without the multiplayer trailer, I can already tell you I'm not even excited for Infinite Warfare just because it's in space. I don't want a space shooter. And Battlefield gave me exactly what I wanted, so most likely I'm going to buy that. Well, I know I'm going to buy Battlefield 1 for sure. And most likely I'll stay on Battlefield 1 for most of the year until the next Call of Duty comes out and hope the next Call of Duty is good. But, you know, Call of Duty is going to be dead this year, I do believe. And that's basically answering the question of this video. But I do want to say, it's not a bad thing that Call of Duty is going to be dead this year. It could be a good thing, because the only way Activision listens to the community is if they lose money. So if they lose a ton of money this year, that means most likely they're going to listen to the community and actually make a World War One, World War Two shooter next. So let's hope they listen and they lose a ton of money this year so they actually listen to the community in the future. But you never know. But that's just my take on it, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, also, if you're new here, please subscribe for new videos every single week, guys. And also, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. I appreciate that. Share it if you want to. Do whatever you want with it. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And again, let me know what you know. What let me know what you think in the comment section down below. So, guys, thanks for watching. Again, have a good day or night, and bye.